So I'm back again today with another 90s guitar lesson for you. Today's song is from Neil McCoy. It's called Then You Can Tell Me Goodbye. Uh, this was a request from one of my patrons. Just want to take a quick second here to say thank you. Thanks for watching this video and my other videos. Thanks for your continued support. Um, go ahead, if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button for me down below. There's also a link down below in the description box. If you click on that link, you'll find tabs to this lesson um, and a lot of my other lessons as well. And also you'll have access to some bonus content there as well. All right, so let's jump into the lesson. So first I'm gonna do the rhythm parts on acoustic and then I'm gonna do the solo, the, the lead guitar solo in the middle. Um, and I'm gonna have that as well. Now, as I mentioned, the link below, uh, if you click that, it'll take you over to my Patreon page. You'll find tabs to the solo, but you're also going to find a number chart for this song. And if you're not familiar with numbers and, and how to read the national number system, I'll also post a link in the description below uh, with a video that I did a while back showing you um, an, kind of an introduction to the national number system. So this song's in the key of G. It's in a 6-8 time signature, so it's sort of got a waltz, uh, kind of a waltz rhythm to it. So let me just play through a little bit of it for you. So. Okay, so what we're doing, um, playing the G, so it's a, it's a one, six minor, two minor, five. Um, and to put those in chords, you got G, you got E minor, you got A minor seven, you can play a regular A minor, sound okay to make an a minor seven you just take an a minor shape and you lift up your ring finger and that's an a minor seven okay and then you've got a d chord that's your five and then back to the one okay so that's the intro that's the turnarounds um that's the verse uh there's not really any turnarounds really it, it goes straight from the verse into the chorus uh, and then from the chorus second chorus into the solo straight into the bridge so there's really three main parts. There's your verse, there's your chorus, um, and then there's your bridge. Now, the reason I say three main parts, the solo section is not technically, I mean, it is a part, but the reason I'm not considering it a part is because the solo is just the verse and the chorus back to back. It's the same chords. Okay, so for the verse, we've got our G, E minor, A minor seven, D. As far as my right hand, so what I'm doing there, I'm doing a down up and then a down just on the top strings. And I'm repeating that. Okay, same thing with the next chord. Same thing with the next chord. So that's kind of the rhythm pattern we're going to keep through the whole song. So it's kind of a down up and then another down. So down up down, down up down. Right? And then you just eliminate the space in between those. So that's our verse. That's our intro and our verse section. Then we get to the chorus. The chorus stays on the one here. The four, which is your C, back to your one. And then it goes to the four minor. And then the five. Okay. The first time through the chorus, at the end of the chorus, it plays the D, going back into the verse. Okay, repeats the verse. Second chorus, it resolves on a one, back to the G instead of the five. And that's going into the solo. The solo is a verse and a chorus, and it's the second chorus that ends in the one. Then we go to the bridge. The bridge, you start on your four, so C, two bars of that. A7, which is a 2, in this key it'd be a 2, because our 1's a G, so 2, playing an A7, 2 bars of that, so, then to our 5, okay, 
And what we do there is, let me just play through the, the bridge for you. That's your bridge, bridge section there for you. As I said, um, the link below will uh, have a number chart for that. Okay, cool. All right, here's the solo section for you. So uh, we're going to break it down here. Uh, before we get into this real quick, so when you practice this, you really want to practice it one of two ways. You either want to practice it with the record. Uh, that's probably the second step. The first step, you want to practice it with the metronome. Once you learn the licks, take it section by section and, and put a metronome to it. Uh, this is a slow waltz. Uh, you know, kind of a 6-8 time signature. Uh, so you can overplay this and you can speed it up and get through it too quickly here. So a lot of times you've heard it said it's it's easier to play fast than it is to play slow. So And that's the truth. Sometimes it's harder to slow down and play slower. So put a metronome to this um, um, whenever you get it learned and uh, that's going to help tremendously. So we've got a slide here on the G string. And we're sliding in. Um on uh it really doesn't matter where you start the slide i think i started around fret three or four somewhere down here so just as long as you land on fret nine on the g so. okay so what we've got there we're sliding in on the g string fret nine then playing fret eight on b and fret ten on b Picking 10 again, and doing that whole step band. And then we're releasing that. So we're releasing it back to eight here on B. Then we come down to G and do uh, nine, seven. Okay, then back to B string, eighth fret. Then a whole step bend up uh, on fret 10 on the B. And we cut that bend off uh, once we get it up to that note right there. You don't want to bring it back down. Okay, and then you come back down to fret uh, seven on G. Okay, so that whole first phrase there. This is a good good place to practice your uh, vibrato too. So you don't want it to sound like this. Kind of sound like Jimi Hendrix. Uh, so this is not the place for that. And nothing wrong with Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix is killer. But this is just not the place for that type of vibrato. You want to have smooth vibrato. Just real smooth there. Uh, that's one thing that'll set uh, an experienced player apart from a, uh, an amateur player is the way they use their vibrato too. So. All right, so that's the end of the first section. So we're going into the second section. Okay, so we're doing the same kind of slide. Sliding into nine on G and then playing eight on B. Then back to nine on G. Then we're going to take fret 10 on the little E string and bend it up a whole step. Okay? So it's crucial to get these bends exactly right. Okay? Then we're going to release that and play that note on the 10th fret. Okay? Then we're going to play fret uh, 7 on E. So. Okay? Then we're going to come to fret 10 on B and do a bend. So bend up a whole step and release it. Okay, then fret eight on B. Then we're sliding 10 to 12 on B. Okay, then 10 and 12, picking those on the little E. And then resolve on the D note, which is your little E 10th fret. Once again, smooth vibrato. Okay, uh, so what we've got there slow. section two. Going into section three, we've got right? So a lot of the same types of slides here. It starts with the same slide. So we're sliding into nine on G and then playing eight on B. Okay. 
okay? Then an immediate bend, and this bend doesn't have to be, it doesn't really need to be a whole step bend quick. This is more of a slower bend. This one can be a little bit off, it's more like a half step bend. Okay, so. So we're bending up on fret 10 on the B. And before we get to this tone, we're kind of on that half step point. Then we come down and catch 8th fret on E, then 10th fret on E. So, so we've got. So after we play 10th fret E, come back down to 10th fret B and bend it. Okay, then 8th fret B. Then we, we got kind of bar here. So we're on 8th fret B and we're going to catch 8th fret little E. And we'll go back to 10th fret little E. Okay, doing another bend here on 10th fret uh, B. We'll resolve it down to 7th fret G. So, okay, this is a cool part of this solo here. So while you're holding that note on the 7th fret G, Take your pinky and come down to the 10th fret D string. Okay. And then you're, while you're playing that, you're going to get your middle finger, you're going to put it on the 8th fret uh, B string. So. Then you're going to do a slide. I'm going to use my ring finger here. You're going to come over and do a slide from fret, um, this would be fret 8 to 9 on the D. So. Slide from eight to nine. We catch seven on G and nine on G. And then resolve on our root note, which is fret eight on B. Okay, so that's that section. Uh, then we go to the next section here, and we've got this section is kind of mimicking the vocals there. So. I'm doing there. I'm doing just like we did, just like we did a minute ago. Um, a lot of bends here on the B string uh, on that tenth fret there. Okay, we're coming down to G uh, on nine and seven. Back to eight on B. And then this is kind of a steel guitar band. those you're just bending uh, B string fret 8 or sorry fret 10 up a whole step okay and you gotta get this bend accurate you, you want to get it dead, dead on that note while you're holding that up a whole step use your pinky here and I'm using my I'm doing a hybrid picking thing and I'm catching the 10th fret on little E I do that twice. Release that back down to fret 10 and then resolve on 8. Okay, then the next part. So it repeats that part that it did uh, on, the, on the first time through on this uh, uh, on this riff here. So. Okay, then we've got this little triad lick. I use these legs all the time. Okay, these are cool legs. You can do little trills. I use stuff like that all the time. So here it goes. Okay, this is all straight out of your major G scale, or your major, really, it's just your major uh, G pentatonic scale, is what it is. Uh, but this triad, and, and thinking out of a shape for this, it's your D shape here, but it's a G chord, right? So we got, um, we're going fret eight to fret seven on little E, then fret eight on B, seven on G, five on G, and we slide from seven to nine on D, and we catch our root note, which is our back to our B string here on the 8th fret. And then we just play that note a couple times. 
Thank you guys so much for checking out this lesson today. Hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any other requests, any other comments, uh, any suggestions, anything, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me. Hit the little bell icon to get notified when I post new videos. Um, and then click the link and, and go over and check out my Patreon account or my Patreon page. I do a lot of bonus material over there that you won't see here on my YouTube channel. Having a lot of fun over there. I got some cool patrons uh, that are starting to, uh, to come aboard and see some of the stuff I've got going on over there. Okay, cool. Thank you once again so much for the support you guys have given me. Couldn't do it without you, and I'll see you guys next time.